An Albuquerque man is wreaking havoc on the roads, racking up one DWI arrest after another for more than a decade. But this guy has a knack for catching breaks. News 13's Katie Kim explains why in tonight's special assignment. His behavior has stunned police and the general public. I turned my radar and got him 111. I was like, what? It can't be. It's getting to the point where it's absolutely ludicrous and ridiculous. Over the last 11 years, Daniel Aragon has been arrested for drinking and driving seven times. But look him up in court records, and the 32 year old only has one conviction to his name. This is certainly the exception. Bernalillo County law District law Attorney law Carrie law Brandenburg law knows Aragon isn't just your average DWI suspect. His actions over the last decade have been downright dangerous. Take this case from September 2003. He was definitely yeah. DWI then. Homeowners looked on in shock as Aragon's truck landed sideways inside this Northwest Albuquerque house. Police said Aragon was drunk and doing 80 on this residential street, clipping two trees, a lamppost, and a sign before crashing into a cinder block wall. But the case was dismissed. He was busted earlier that same year after police said he blew through a DWI checkpoint at 91 miles an hour, then blew more than a .16 on a breathalyzer. That case was also dismissed. Well, I pulled you over, sir. His most recent DWI arrest came last November in Santa Fe. Did you drink it today? State police clocked out a gun going 111 miles an hour, double the speed limit on Highway 599. Aragon said he'd had one beer. He failed field sobriety tests and was arrested. A breath test showed he'd had a lot more than one beer. He blew a .12. But that charge has also been dismissed as the Santa Fe County DA tries to build a case against him. So why does this keep happening? For Aragon's earlier cases, we may never know. Those files are destroyed after 10 years. But Bernalillo County DA Brandenburg says the state was forced to dismiss most of Aragon's cases because it didn't have a critical witness to prove in court he was actually driving drunk. That critical witness is the officer. Absolutely. It's always the officer in a DWI case. And oftentimes, they have a reason to be a no-show. The officer in Aragon's third drunk driving arrest, where he blew through the DWI checkpoint, kept missing hearings because he got called out to work the state fair, then balloon fiesta. Ultimately, the case was dismissed for a, quote, lack of prosecution. One year, we went through about 80 cases that we lost because of the balloon festival. But officers' hands are tied, too. The officer can only be in one place at one time. We've done our job. We've gotten them off the street, but they just keep reoffending. Um, so it gets very frustrating for officers to keep seeing the same people over and over again. But in Aragon's case, his luck never seems to run out. Even if the Santa Fe County DA refiles charges against him for his November DWI arrest, his seventh. The best they'll get is a second conviction, a misdemeanor that only carries a max of six months behind bars. But prosecutors are hopeful that whenever Aragon is convicted of DWI again, the judge will know his number of convictions don't tell the whole story. A judge is going to look at this and probably say, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the most I can because you haven't learned anything. You keep driving drunk. On special assignment, Katie Kim, KRQE News 13. We tried to reach Daniel Aragon for comment on this story. He never got back to us. Of course, Bernalillo County has had his problems handling DWI cases. Last year, 25% of DWI cases were dismissed, usually because police did not show up to testify.